literally just got out of the shower and I'm looking like a hot mess. But today I thought I'd film a um, kind of like get ready with me while I do an update for you guys. So I'm going to go and get started with my makeup. I have really bad eyelash extensions on at the moment. But I'm actually getting them taken off. Well, I'll just take them off gently myself. Um, and I have some really exciting strip lashes from Etsy coming, but I thought today I would film a little video for you all because I miss filming on YouTube because I literally love doing YouTube, but it's just like the motivation to get out of bed and do it has just been so hard lately. I probably should put like a headband on, but it's honestly fine. I look like a drowned rat right now. I literally look like a drowned rat. But I just went ahead and took the Glow Recipe Moisturizer. Really love this moisturizer. And then I'm going to prep my skin. I usually do this like 5 to 10 minutes before I do my makeup. But we don't really care right now. I'm using this mist. It just like smells so good. And I love doing it before my makeup. It's the Glow Recipe Ultra Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist really recommend it's kind of pricey but i do really recommend it and i'm just gonna go in with my tatcha lip mask and put this on my lips so i don't want to put lipstick on it is nice and good and i also wanted to say that excuse my nails they're horrible they're literally horrible right now um but that is okay so how are we all i am Thought, I, yeah, I there's a lot going on in my life at the moment, so I just thought I'd sit down and do an update. What am I even doing? Foundation. Actually, I'm just gonna go in with concealer because it's what I've been doing lately. I'm still doing like a really natural makeup. Sometimes on days where I'm feeling a little bit shit, I will just do a little bit of makeup. Not all the time, but when I have the motivation. To kind of just like make myself feel like I'm getting ready for the day. I'm on the pill instead of my depot shot. But I'm thinking of going back on the depot shot. Because I don't really have a say at the moment. Well I do but like it's kind of messed up. But I'm just going to go in with a bit of concealer. And I feel like this like covers up my face enough. But lately I've just been all over the place because i've started a new medication well i've had the medication for a while brooke this is kind of a lot <laughs> i've had the medication for a while but i'm up the dose to the max at the moment and it's to say it's literally been so bad for me i don't know why i'm still on it but i've just been told by my doctor that um that it's going to settle down when I be on it for a while. But I've been on... Oh, I've only been on it for two weeks. But, like, the side effects I get from it is literally messed up. Like, I'm telling you, it is so bad. Um, I get, like, really angry when I take it. And then I get, like, really upset. And then, like, my mood is all over the place at the moment. Um, I think I'm just really finding life a bit difficult um, because I'm obviously just a mess and when I'm like have really bad mood swings I'm just like not really that good so I'm just going to blend this all in but yesterday I went to listen out um, in Brisbane for only like a few hours like no, I'm, I'm telling you like two hours and then I, like, was, like, I have to go home. Like, this is not for me anymore. Like, I hardly go clubbing. I hardly do any of that anymore. And I hate drinking. Like, I feel so sick afterwards. And I just don't like the fact of drinking anymore. So, I've just kind of been, like, avoiding going out, I guess. And just, like, being a homebody. Because I'm definitely an introvert. Is that, like, staying at home? don't know why my phone is going off but um yeah I like staying at home a lot more because I honestly feel like everything is just going pear shape I'm relapsing a bit with my disordered eating I would call it and um when I drink alcohol I obviously get really hungry I don't know if that's just me but 
I get really hungry and then I'm like regret going out and then we just have an emotional breakdown every single time so I've learned my lesson but I did buy the ticket and I was like I wasn't gonna go and then I woke up and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go because my friends are going but I honestly miss my bestest friend in the world she's not going too well at the moment but I love her so much and i pray for you so you know who you are and i miss you and i can't wait to see you soon but i'm just doing this and it does look a bit light because i do have fake tan on but i feel like when i add bronzer and stuff it'll be like fine i don't know why i'm like rushing so much i feel like because i don't have much charge i feel like every time i go on my youtube it's like or like when I film, I'm like, I don't have much charge. And it's literally like, Brooke, seriously? But now I'm just going to take the Fenty Beauty translucent powder. Because honestly, I'm the laziest person ever. And my powder that I've been using is in, this looks really light. Ooh, but the powder that I'm using is in my bag. Like literally just there, but I just can't be bothered getting it, but. I'm just gonna I literally just inhaled that but um yeah so I just wanted to do my makeup today um just to make myself feel a little bit better and I don't do too much on a daily basis um but yeah I'm just putting this on this looks really bad this looks terrible 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 but yeah, I'm finding it really hard. If you don't follow my recovery page, it's Brooks Recovery underscore. Just so overwhelmed, I feel like. I feel like so much is happening and therapy isn't going to plan and my medication's not working. And I actually did a blood test for my um, medication um, to see if it was metabolizing because I don't think it's metabolizing, but... I never got the results back so that could be a problem like my metabolism my phone <coughs> fml but, um yeah i feel like maybe my meds aren't metabolizing and that's why i'm not getting better because bitch i am so over being sick like i feel like people go like how are you going and i'm just like yeah i'm going great and then i'm just like after i say that i'm like no i'm not like the other day i took my medication and i started seeing my whole bed like just move up and down and i feel like with this medication it's the last resort someone that's taken a lot of medications and find that they haven't been working so one hearing that freaks me out like hell because i'm just like oh well maybe i messed up in the head but i saw a psychologist the other day and like a new one just to see how she was and it was terrible like i think i posted this yeah i did on my um recovery page like just a photo a, a video and i was like no like this lady kept telling me i don't want to like say the word but the s word like not wanting to live kind of word was like um, I just want to make sure, like, over and over, and she kept saying, I don't want you to die, like, I don't want you to be paralyzed, which is, like, good that she's been saying that, but, like, I'm not seeing her again, because she literally wanted to bring up my doctor and say I couldn't see him, and I was like, um, I've known him for nine years, and that is just crazy, so I really hope I don't go, because I have therapy this Thursday, and I really hope I don't go there, and they're like, and my doctor's like, who's this psychologist? I'll be like, I honestly don't know. Because she told me not to see my other psychologist as well. I was like, I've known you for 50 minutes. It was crazy. I can't find... I really can't find anything. I should have been more prepared for this video. But I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm trying to find my nose contouring brush. But I always always lose it oh there it is i feel like every time i say i lose something and i get really like agitated because i lose something i find it and it's like super annoying but at the same time it's a relief 
but yeah i've just been puddling along i guess i went to hobart on holiday to visit my sister and i'm actually training up for the half marathon next year in hobart so i have six months to get back on track and um i'm not even telling you guys the products brooke stick to one conversation um what was i talking about oh yeah i am training so i have my first pt PT trainer, um, can you tell that the whole time I like in my life I think about my mental illness, um, anyways, I am seeing my PT on Tuesday, um, so tomorrow I'm so nervous because I'm not nervous to do the gym but like I have to catch the bus to the gym and then um, my support worker will come pick me up after the gym. But at the same time, I'm like, what if I suck at everything? But you will, like, you obviously get better over time. But I'm just nervous because I I am just nervous about it. But I want to do it for me. I'm really excited. If I can complete a half marathon, I'll be so excited. Because it was so motivating. My sister did the Hobart marathon. She did the 42 kilometers. Um, and my dad has done marathons and stuff like that. I have not told you guys the products. I really get annoyed at myself because I feel like I never finish my sentences, but. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not going to dry my hair. Um, I'm so literally so random. I'm like the randomest person ever. But I'm not going to dry my hair today because I need it to air dry. But I'm just going to look at that. Stunning. If you guys want to see, I was thinking of filming a um, collective because it is collective. But like not really like fully, cl like, uh, like a long time. But if you guys want to see a, a haul of like a try on clothing haul from Beginning Boutique and like what else do I have? Beginning Boutique, Princess Polly, and stuff like that. Let me know because I would be so nervous to film that video. But I feel like it would be good for me to film because I'm just like, have to get over my body and feel like it's okay. Even though I'm really struggling with my body image. But I'm just going to go and clean this up. This video is so random, but I was thinking of going back. Because someone asked me if I should do, um, like, self-care boxes again. And I thought that was such a good idea. But I want to make them, like, handmade. But, like, not just, like, products. I want to make, like, homemade bath salts and, like, um, like a candle, like, crystal candles. Because I have, like, so much stuff for that. But and sell them on Etsy because my crystal shop update, I forgot about the bill. So I had a massive bill because I had the ads on when I was in Belmont. And um, yeah, I had the ads on and it ended up charging me like $200. And I was like, I didn't have time to pay it. So my whole shop is suspended. So I'm like, I need to get back into it, but I'm thinking of doing care boxes instead. So if you guys want to see and you've made it this far in this video, let me know if I should do a little small Etsy business. I have really good ideas for it, but yeah, I might start doing that and do like little affirmation cards that I make myself and stuff like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, I just thought I'd film a video today. This makeup literally was really quick and simple. I usually would do a little bit more, but um, I just wanted to do that today. But if you guys do want to see a haul or if I decide myself, then I will go ahead and do a collective haul and just like nail it and just like think, nail it. <laughs> just think in my head that no one cares what I look like. Like it's okay. But I just want to say thank you all for watching. I love you so much and stay strong. And you guys got this in the bag. Um, got this in the bag. I'm currently drinking my Pepsi Max. But yeah, I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.